All right, today is March 4th, Thursday morning. I'm uh, picking up another day of working on this guy here. That one. This one's much more in depth than anything I've done so far. I'll give you a quick idea. This guy here, according to the destructions, let's see here. The section right here. This is just for the body. If I counted this correctly, there's 15 parts for his body. This section here, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this section here is for this. This is the body of the new one I'm doing. If I counted correctly, there's 40 pieces in this one. There's 15 in that. The amount of stuff that's in this thing is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, I am trying my best to, you can see on here, this spot here. I know I've got a an oops right there. Uh, I got a little bit right there on the edge. That's about it so far. I'm trying very hard not to gouge anything. Um, I'm filing everything, as you can tell. Just I don't know if you can see it all. I am really trying to do a nice, clean job on this. Uh, again, it, because I'm trying so hard to do that, I think I built this one in maybe an hour. I think this one was an hour and a half. Uh, that one was much longer because, again, I was trying. These two, I just I just threw them, threw them together. I wasn't trying that hard, especially with this one. because This is the very first one. I didn't know whether or not I was going to like this or not. So with him, I was just like, yeah. Slap it together. Who cares? Since I had fun building that one, I took just a little bit longer on this one. Uh, and at that point, I was really having a lot of fun putting them together, which made me take even longer with this one, which, again, it's, it's a snowball. Because as I'm building these, I'm having a lot more fun. Um, I didn't work very much yesterday. I was having problems with my eyes. I started the day off working on Boba Fett here. As you can tell, I made some progress on him. Um, he's still a long way to go before he's finished. I got some base colors up, down and whatnot. Um, I still need to do... I need to fix this, this piece here. Because uh, I got to make this actually much more silver. I gave it a base coat of... Of white because I my um, primer is black on this one, uh, so I was trying to give a base coat of white, so when I paint it silver, it won't look as bad. Um, plus, I got the thruster fire whitened up. I got all of these base colors down yesterday. Got a lot more of the gray done in. Uh, I got his wrist guards. Again, I'll have to touch up some of this stuff. I got these little sections here. Um, again, I have to go back and touch up a lot of stuff, like even this one here. I don't know if this is in camera or not. I, I hope it is. But he's he's. I made a lot of progress. The problem was I worked on this for like 45 minutes. Uh, and my eyes started watering. My wife told me because I'm old, which she was so pleasantly pointing out to me. That's why my eyes were watering, because I was going cross-eyed and staring at small stuff. I mean, I've even got my magnifying lens for the small stuff, but that's basically why I didn't get much done yesterday. So, I did finish the body at least. Um... And work pretty hard on, on not messing anything up. So this is just basically an update of you know the progress we're making so far. Again, I am not doing any uh, production type videos as far as 
here's how to do this. There's a million people out there who make videos who are really good at showing all of the, the steps and procedures and how to, to use nips, nippers, excuse me, um, and how to take everything off. Now, as you can tell, I have everything still on the sprues. I don't know how in the world some of you guys who are doing this uh, and making videos can take everything off and put it in a pile and keep track of what's what. I, I did that for one, one piece on this guy. One sprue. I took everything off the sprue. I lost half of it. So my actual build time on this was like th three or four hours. Um, but an hour and a half of that was actually put them together. The rest of that time was searching for the parts. So I don't know how you guys do that. That's, that's beyond me. I, I have no idea how you can cut every single piece off. I watched several videos so far and all you see in most of the videos is people doing this, this right here. Click, 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 click. It's like, oh my God, dude, stop with the clicks. Anyway, makes my head hurt watching somebody put everything in a big bundle and then just picking stuff out. I mean, it's, how do you do that? I don't know. I can't do, I can't do that. I'm sitting here trying to have a hard enough time going B5. Which one of these is B? Uh, e, Z. No, I don't even have a Z. Why do I have Z? Where'd Z come from? I don't know. But anyway, so... This is where we're at today. I may do a little bit more here. I may play on my Xbox for a while. I haven't played Destiny in over a week. So, I may do a little bit of that today. I'm not feeling too good today for some reason. The weather's changing. My back's killing me. I've been having a hard time catching my breath. I don't know if I'm trying to have a heart attack or not or what, but anyway. I think that's about it. If somebody out there, if if anybody who watches this, let me know how how the heck do you guys figure out what the um I don't even know what I'm trying to ask. Like this guy here. Um I always assumed on everything that scale was the size. I mean that's apparently that's not the case. Because this is a 1 and, 44, 1 and 1 44th scale. If you look on this, this says 1 60th. Oh, excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> oh, that's going to stay in. Anyway, it says right on the box, 1 60th scale model. And yet, his body is virtually the exact same size as all these guys. This is not, how is that a 1 and 1 and 44th and this is a 1 60th? Is that the, the only difference that I can see in that is how much stuff there is. This, when it came out of the box, had two bags. This, when it came out of the box, had six bags. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, I think six. I think I have these set out in, in uh, according to the bags that came out of. So that's the only difference that I can see so far. I, I still have this one over here. All the guns. I'm leaving that one for last because obviously guns are last on the build. So I'm having a hard time understanding what's what. Some of the videos I've watched when I see scale, uh, it's a picture basically of like a small model and then they step up in size to the one in uh, what I thought was 160th. Um, and even at the shop where I went to, they had it was a $230 model. I, I was this close. I was like, oh, cause I had birthday money last month was my birthday. So I was spending my birthday money, uh, on all this stuff. And I was that close to getting just the $230 model. And I knew, I looked out, I asked the guy, I was like, can I look inside there to see what's, you know, and the hand was like, I don't even, 
remember. It was large. If, if you look on, where's, all right. So like here, all right, here's his hand and here's my one in 60. All right, the hands are, are actually these hands are a little bit smaller than than those ones. That's the one one forty fourth. So I, I don't get what the how do you tell what the damn scale is? I, I don't understand that. Why in everything modeling that I've ever done, scale means the size, not the in, in depthness. In depthness, making up new words today. Word of the day, in-depthness. Yeah. Anyway. Um, if anybody out there knows how how to tell what you're getting from a, a kit, um, you know, if there's a video out there or something explaining this stuff, or if there's a website or something explaining that, please point me in the right direction so I can... I feel like an idiot when I'm, I don't understand what's what's what i don't understand this concept behind scale um is scale just how much more in depth it is in in this stuff because I, I apparently right now i'm not understanding you know even the the i thought i understood the hg and the mg and the rg um type stuff does that have something to do with it? Because I thought like HG was high grade, which even, you know, this is an HG 1 and 44. Okay. 1 and 4, blah, 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 blah. That, that, that stuff there. Um, and then, These side by side, okay. HG one and four one forty four scale, HG one and sixtieth scale. They're the same size though. How, how is that? That's confusing the crap out of me. I hate being confused about something. It makes no sense. That makes literally no sense. It's the same size. How is that scale different? It's irritating the crap out of me because I don't understand. I hate not understanding something. And I, I can't even make sense of it. it. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Anyway, if anybody has any information for me on that to help me understand that a little bit, I would greatly appreciate something putting something somewhere for me in the comments. Um, other than that... There it is. My goal uh, for today, I think we're going to try to, let's see here. Where can we get to today? There's the head and the arms. I may try to get the head and the arms today. That's about it. You never know. I may end up doing a little bit more. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, if you guys got something, you can let me know. Like I like I said, let me know. And we'll go from there. Hope everybody has a great day today. All right. We'll talk to you later. See you.